All right, well, the rock saw was sitting a little crooked. It was three quarters inch lower on this side than that side. So I put a little leaf, two little leaves in here, brought it up an inch and a half. So now it's three quarters too high. So I strapped this up so it won't drop quite as far because these revolving shafts are just holding down forever. See if we can get one leaf out of here. Level this guy up. Bolts out of the way. Plate off. Oh. Now in theory it's got a lower in the hair. Uh, bolt. Oh. So what that take 20 minutes to swap a, or take one leaf pack out of there and uh, or one leaf out of the pack and now we'll see if it sits low. If not, I'll have to take one out I left in there and put the other one in and let's just cross our fingers and over. I don't want to waste another 20 minutes. Alright, well let's get these jack stands out. Start with the fenders. Forty-three and five sixteenths. Forty-three and a quarter. Well, that's only a sixteenth up. That's pretty good. All right, now. To the top, 26, 26, right on the money. Today, all right. All right, just got back from Home Depot. Got some new lights put up. Oh, had a couple go out, got too dark to work. Had to run and get new ones. So I'm working on cleaning up my front Steering stabilizer. She's a little dirty. Uh, but, you know, it it still works. Rolls in and out hard. This has all this uh, concrete-like substance on here. So, until I get a new one, I'm just gonna scrape it all off and paint her up. Should work fine, I don't see why not. Oh. 
Man, you imagine getting a whole rig covered in this stuff? Holy moly, wouldn't that be a project? All right, all done, all right, brand new. Yeah, we'll hang it up to dry here. All right, a couple of shelf brackets that's sitting there. They look nice and straight, so drill a hole in the center, slide it over the lug nut, snug it up. And we will be getting somewhere with a line in this thing. 15 and 7 16 or 59 and 7 16 and 59 and a quarter. So it's towed out right now. That's not what we want. We want it towed in. So to change that, we need to break these nuts free and turn that bar in until it's just towed in. So, all right. Half inch there, that's the same. Closer you get all these, make sure they're all sitting down good. Keep moving that one, plumber up. Ah, like I said, I don't know if she needs to be plumbed, but I like it plumb. So that's how we're gonna make it. All right. Now, we need to tighten this. All right, right there, 59 and 5 16 59 and a quarter. Fifty-nine. Wait, I must have went the wrong way. Oh no, that's going right. Fifty-nine and almost five sixteenths. Fifty-nine and a quarter. Let's see. That's 59 and 3 sixteenths, 59 and 5 sixteenths. Well, that's an eighth inch towed in, but normally I want to be a sixteenth, but I am spread a little more. Let me come back. Here. Fifty-nine and a quarter, and then just over. That's 59 and a quarter, 59 and a quarter. Alright, that's 59 three sixteenths. And 59 and a quarter. So that's the 16th. Towed in, so that should work. Tighten her down. Yeah. All right, finally got the steering all wrapped up. Well, at least I think I did. So we got everything torqued down. So the torque specs on these, I don't know what you torque it at. I looked it up and there were so many different options. Basically they said online, it, those things can take whatever torque the bolt can take. And a 5 8 bolt, something, I don't know, someone wrote on there, 400 pounds of torque. Well, I'm not doing that. So I torqued everything to 150 pounds. That seems like a lot to me. So it was, they're tight. So that's all good. Filled it all inside the bolts, everything with the end threads up here with anti seize. I put one of those bolts in over there and just for mock up, I'm going to take it apart, put anti seize in. I barely got it apart. So that's, guess, important. Uh, everything's torqued down. All right, let's see if she hits here. All right, Matthew, turn it all the way, passenger. That's all the way? Yeah. All right, all the way, driver. All 
Ooh. I could put a piece of paper in there. I think that's all I need. All right, turn it back straight. One more, right there. Hair more. Perfect. All right. Oh, slap these tires back on. It's a done deal. All right, working away on the rocks are here. So getting the rear fenders trying to figure out. Uh, you can see it probably a little better over on this side. So I don't know. I made a cardboard template here. Oh, and I took this and matched matched that angle, and then <clears throat> measured back to where I think the tire ain't gonna hit. But it's got to be close. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, uh, I square that up and bam. I don't know. Pretty simple. We'll see. So, hopefully, I didn't move the tire too far back. But I think it'll be just fine. So, I got to get this side cut out. Problem is, is the gas flapper. Now, the floorboard is actually right here in here. So can't really raise it up without notching all that out so we'll get it cut out of there and hopefully not catch everything on fire and go from there i got a fire extinguisher over there we'll be good all right see how this comes out oh, i think it'll be easy but hard to tell Plenty of room. Looks about right. Should fit in there. Perfect. I'll have to, I'll have to weld something in here. Fix that up. That shouldn't be that big a deal. So, all right. Well, I'll get her grind it up and move on to the next side. All right, so got all that notched out. Now, I'm working on getting this to go up in here. And then I gotta patch this in and then notch this out. I, I think I got it just where I'm gonna clear it. But we'll see. I gotta shorten this side up. It'll all come together one way or another. All right, well, stay tuned. I'm gonna go take a break. All right, well, I forgot to turn the camera on, but we got a little bit done here. So, I got this guy all cleaned up and everything, and put this hole up higher, far up as I could, the bottom of the insides right here, all the way back to the edge of the lights, about oh, right here. So I trimmed this side back just a hair, and it fits in there pretty good. You know, rounded that over a hair. And then I'll have to cut, I mean, it'll be up here. I'm about to trim that cap out just a hair, but I think it'll work good. So uh, we'll get this tacked in. Battery's about ready to die, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Man, you get this welder dial in. 
Remember, I can't weld body quite that good. That's pretty good. Working good right there. All right. I guess. Weld on this bottom. I hate welding bottoms. Wood pouring outside. All right. Well, let's see. Grind your gold and get it cut out. Oh, that's gonna work sweet. I like it. Right, well, we got this bumper we're figuring out back here. So, you know, it's is angle stuff I'm using, channel or whatever it is. It's gonna go over this, but I want it to sit in tight and it has to go in that inch and three quarters or whatever it is. So I got a notch out for these. So I got them marked out, all four of them there. I'm gonna cut them out square.